What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pelini here, and welcome to this Monday weekly episode of John's Thoughts, episode 96. That's right, we're in episode 96. Let's get things going here, shall we? The 49ers could trade Jimmy Garoppolo during the offseason. I don't even know why the 49ers would want to do that when they just got a good quarterback from the Patriots like Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't even know why they want to trade him during the offseason, you know? Come to the Lions, Jimmy Garoppolo. We'll put you in good hands, but I'm just kidding. He won't go to the Lions. So, on the next one, Dwayne Wade says, Cavs starters need to improve. That's what Dwayne Wade says, so he says they need to improve. Improve. That's right, the starters need to improve on the Cavaliers. They're just doing terrible right now, let me tell you. Matt Donnie need to, two Senators, Kyle Torres, two Predators, in a three-way Trade. That's kind of awesome too. Matt Donnie to the Senators, and the Senators are gonna look really good in hockey this year. On to the next one. Josh Bell named finalist for National League Rookie of the Year. Congratulations to Josh Bell. He's he's in the finalist for the National League Rookie of the Year, one of the finalists, so that's good for him. Maybe he'll win it. Who knows? The Bucks trade Greg Monroe to the Suns for Eric. Bledsoe, and and apparently he's doing good in Eric Bledsoe in Milwaukee, so his game on Friday night put up like a lot of points, so that's pretty good for Eric Bledsoe. He didn't like Phoenix too much and didn't work out for him, but that's good for him. Now he's on a good team, the Milwaukee Bucks. Packers Brian Boozley reportedly has an ACL tear, will miss the rest of season. Yikes, this, things can't get worse for the Packers. Now Aaron Rodgers and now Brian Boozley, uh, something like that, so... Things are not looking good for the Green Bay Packers right now. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What's going on here? What's going on here? This is not good. Leangelo Ball, among three UCLA players, arrested for shoplifting in China. I'm just going to go and, sh and sh sh shoplift in China. That's not good. And apparently now Leangelo Ball could face... Three to nine years in prison in China, too. Yikes. Oh, that's not good at all whatsoever. Well, who will go to sh who, 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 who shoplifts in China, really, just to go shoplift in China? That's not good whatsoever. You know what I mean? That, like, that's just wrong. You just don't go there and shoplift. Now he, now he just cost his NBA career in his college. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, let's see. The Pittsburgh Steelers rookie. Uh... Juju Smith passes driving test. Let's give him a big thumbs up on this video for passing his driving test. Congratulations, you passed your driving test. Woohoo! Gay soccer star Robbie Rogers retires from LA Galaxy. So, let's see. So, apparently, uh, he retired from soccer. I guess when when your body tells you you have to retire, you got to retire. So that's the most important thing. You got to listen to your body if you have to retire. And apparently, uh, and the NBA finds Dwight Howard 25K for a scene gestured towards a fan. Come on, Dwight Howard, that's not cool. You should just man up and stop doing obscene gestures to fans just because the people hate you or boo you. Especially in Boston on Friday, Friday night when they were all saying, Howard, you know what, Howard sucks, and then stuff like that. So, it's not good at all, you know what I mean? So, just don't do obscene gestures to fans. It's not cool whatsoever. It's just not right. And the last news of the day, for all you Seattle Seahawks fans out there, uh, Retro Sherman out for season after rupturing Achilles. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. That's just so sad and horrible, and I feel bad for him. So, one like equals one prayer that, that Retro Sherman gets better and a full recovery. So, leave a like on this video if you wish him good luck. So, and a full speedy recovery for to make his return. Well, that's going to do it here for John Slots episode 96 in the books next week, 97 on Monday morning, 97, and that but does it here for John Slots, and I love each and every one of you all, you all mean a lot to me, each one of you that look at my videos, I love each and every single one of you all, so please like this video, leave your comment down below, and subscribe for more.
You're all the best of John Squad. You're one of a kind of each and every single one of you all. You all mean a lot to me. And thank you for watching John Slots episode 96 next week. 97. I can't believe we're on episode 97. Wow, man, it's just like something, almost up into the 100s now. Can't wait to do my 100th episode of John's Thoughts, episode 100. It's going to be a good one. Peace.